Good kitten, and welcome back to Vandal Hearts, Sega Saturn version. Um, I, this is actually the second time I've tried to record this, but that was only like a 10 second recording because I started sneezing. Um, sorry, I need to drop volume a little bit on my side. There we go. But where we last left off, um... A representative by the name of Dolph have come to the um, domestic security forces of Ashtaria and basically given us a secret mission. Publicly, we're going to be blamed for the uh, tussle between the domestic security forces and the Crimson Guard, but in private, we're on a secret mission to do secret mission things, mostly to try to find out what in the world was going on in the opening part of the game. So at this point, we have full control over what we want to do. Except that this is a very linear game, so there's not really much in the way of control. One of the things that I like to do is to go back and talk with people after things have happened, because what they say changes, potentially. Welcome. How you doing? So, Innkeeper obviously doesn't have anything to say. We need a true leader to fix this country right. Someone like Hell spites the defense minister. You can tell, Hell's not exactly an unpopular person. It's true that Hell and the Crimson Guard have been tough on crime. Somehow I feel this country is going in the wrong direction. It's a frightening thought. You know, I wasn't expecting parallels with the United States in the past four years, but, you know, whatever. It's not just politicians that are to blame for this mess that the country's in right now. The people came together to overthrow the Asha dynasty, but afterwards they had no direction or values to follow, and fell into complacency and decadence. Oh, just background things. Usually things at the, um, tavern are just for background. Sometimes there's... We don't need to go back to HQ. Yeah, so basically it's GTFO. Um, shops don't change, if I remember correctly. So, we're going to see the exact same stuff in the shop for the entire chapter of the game. Uh, we have some things. Hold on, I need to take a look at that. Something got thrown into the wagon, I remember. A mushroom. That I want sell. We have a couple of extra items on this right now. Like this light arrow that we don't need. We're just all light. We're the party of light, obviously. Mushroom does. Ah. Just going to do a temporary save. And let's go ahead and leave Lumeria. So now we can go to the palace ruin. Not sure who that one's supposed to be. Maybe Amon? Actually, my least favorite musical game. So, you may notice that this is the map that was in the opening demo sequence that I've thrown off a few times when I've been testing this game out. This was the Palace of the Asha Dynasty. Fifteen years ago, Aris' army arrived here. A magnificent palace was burned. Even now, when it grows dark, the spirits of the dead haunt Hey, cut it out! You're giving me the creeps. Back from where you came from! Ah! The curse will be all those who enter here! 
Don't be silly, there's nothing to be afraid of. Ghouls! Die then if you wish! And a bunch of golems up here. So, this is a standard battle where the objective is to kill everything. And we are fighting level 6 clay golems. You will notice that they are members of the armor class, which would mean that offensive magic is the strongest, with our lack of offensive magic users. That's not great. Also, Diego is squishy against armor class, just like Diego is squishy against sword class, so let's not have Diego get hit. So, what do we got around here? So, I spy... This spot looks suspicious. There's two chests, but you'll notice that there's a box, and we can move boxes around. So we're going to actually need to push this box over to this location so we can move up to it and attack the chest. You have to be on, if I remember right, it's either close to or exactly the same height level as a chest in order to be able to open it. And I want goodies. Probably something else on the ground that I'm missing. Let me look this up really fast, because I... There's reasons why I need to make sure we don't lose any items. They're over there. Okay. No, no, actually that is the only hidden item. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, we should compare Ash and Clint now that they're the same level. So Ash, who will level up in one XP, has 33 attack, 36 defense, and 26 agility. Clint, has a 34 attack, 36 defense, and 27 agility. In other words, Ash is strictly better than Clint right now. Though they have the exact same set of equipment. Ash is just, in general, a better character. But there's problems with leveling up Ash, which we will get to later. So I'm going to attack from the side at first. I love that attack animation. Like, I'm gonna wind up my fist and punk. Let's see. this down here. I have already dropped 80 frames, admittedly out of like 62,000 frames so far, but whatever. Now let's move back a little bit. Double support, but it, Diego doesn't do that much damage. Not a great showing so far. Yep, you're gonna move to bunk. Oh, Ash in the back, okay. This Ash can heal himself. Yep, you'll notice the new death animation of having the stones be the geyser of blood instead of blood because they're golems. Anyway, <laughs> Ash leveled up. That's nice. Clint's gonna get attacked in the back, unfortunately. Clint levels up. And everybody stays behind. Because we haven't triggered them yet. So the AI works on a very similar system to Shining Force 2 in that there are AI priorities. If they can, they will attack... Uh, their first priority, if I remember right, is killing one of the, the units. Um, so if they were able to one-shot Diego, we would have seen that Golem, rather than moving around to the back of Ash and attacking Ash, they would have attacked Diego. 
The second priority is back attack the hero. That's the reason why Ash got hit. Link does have more hit points of it. Ooh, their attacks and defense and agility are all identical now. Fascinating, so they have a different curve on group. Reach the back. No, you can't. You only have very light. Okay. You definitely can't. a little weird, but what I wanted to do is make sure that Ash's back was not accessible. He'll get a side attack, and Diego's back wasn't accessible. And then Fairy Light Ash. Probably kill the guy? So just that one golem should move toward us, and we'll attack Ash. Yep. There is some randomness in the AI scripting, by the way. Uh, it becomes more obvious when you go through this tutorial, uh, this demo sequence repeatedly, because it's actually using the AI scripts to be able to fight. And what will end up happening is that the outcome will be slightly different each time that you... Well, not necessarily each time, but frequently the outcome will be different depending on what happens and who controls what. Homes are just not in a good spot for me. If only I can push them. I didn't think Ash was gonna one-shot it. I was hoping to get Diego some more XP. Treasure chest. Get an elixir. Oh, cure potion. Wait. That was called elixir, and there is a translation to it. Fascinating. Let's go ahead and heal up a bit. That'll also level up Diego. Jump up and down. Aw, yeah. So how goes on internet? Hope you have a good kitten today. I'm having some cheese. We're still in the easy battles. I think pretty much all of chapter one are easy battles. Actually, it looks like the next battle might be the last deep battle. And then we start getting into relatively normal difficulty battles. So for reference, I may end up just leaving this treasure chest behind. It's just an herb. But... Because in order to get that treasure chest, what I should do is actually stop moving this way, turn around, and start moving this way instead. Because then this one enemy will probably stay behind. Unfortunately, this enemy is probably not going to be moving this way. Probably.
not leave them in the thicket. Start taking shots. Hot shots. And what level are these? Six. So we're finally at, you know, enemies that are the correct level for us. Okay, that one is... I'm basically just choosing what type of terrain defense they're going to have. I'd prefer them to have the 5% defense than the 15%. For some strange reason. I don't know why. Good side again. Let's have Diego attack first before I do anything, because that'll dictate what I actually want. There we go. Notice we're already losing XP. I think basically the way the game works is that there's an XP bonus for the start of the game. On drop. So go stabity. And problem solved. Probably could have done it the other way around. I haven't activated. You're moving around. Good. I want you to move around. I might intentionally wait a couple of turns, in fact. really want to pick them up here. I want that golem to get closer back here. This added against the waiting couple turns. I don't want to take these, make these battles take too long. Time for a tutorial. This is what pushing objects does. You will notice that they have been damaged by a Decent amount, it's half of their hit points. It would have been more if I would have lined them up, though. It does go all the way through. Which one of you are the damage? Front one is. Good to know. We're dead. See what I mean by having height allows you to have longer range? Nice. And I'm not sure if height is... You no, know, you know, let's science this. All right. How much does... How much damage do I do attacking from the front? 32.
So that is attack from the front, but with back of ram. Out of state. Um what I don't know is I think just hitting from the sides and back just give you a higher chance to hit, not that they do more damage. And I don't know if elevation causes you to do more damage, or is that's a higher chance to hit. Same damage. Yeah, that's fine. Are these gone? Yeah. Oh, crap. I forgot to search that spot. Actually, there. Yeah, I should probably search. That. Gonna be in. Where are you hitting? Uh, you can't hit that spot. You can reach that spot. Yes, you can. It's a fire jam. Attacks from the rear will always hit. Ooh, that was a lot more damage. That was 49 damage? Hey, maybe attacks from the rear do more damage. A little dumb, but I'm actually going to have Clint move up here instead. Yeah, you can see that whatever this is, it's an area of effect thing that affects allies. Can we see what it is? I think we should. For science. Not sure. Well, notice that it seems to target everyone. But it's actually just targeting them. So, it deals poison satisfact. That's it. We don't want to deal with the poison satisfaction, so we're not going to. It can be useful for certain battles, but not really as a one-use item in my mind. Yeah, I know Ash is going to get punched in the back, but he's going to counterattack and kill him. So I figured that part was safe. Oh, right. It only shows you how much damage it does based off of how many hit points it has left. So my previous attempt at figuring this out was for naught. I'm not going to be able to reach that this game. Fine. Fine. Ooh, I have offensive magic now. So it's a very short range spell. But I could cast it, which would be useful against enemies like this that are weak against magic. Ash is kind of a hybrid class between, well, three of them right now. Okay. Not really that important if I get the herb or not. Lose Clint. Let's try that again. Yep, not that save. This doesn't take that much to reload. Loading screens only have, a, have an effect on battle. Okay.
Let's actually heal Clint. That makes more sense. That's what I wanted to do. to attack Ash. Ash is going to kill you. Action, magic, fairy light yourself, because we might as well. Yeah, that fairy there is the one that's on the loading screen for the PS1 version of the game, by the way. Um, yeah, this is going to be a really simple battle. There's not much to it. It's more the stuff after the battle that's less simple. some more science. So, we know that if I just walk up and attack, no support or anything like that, I am going to do 27 points of damage. And I'll get counterattack to 15. realized I haven't actually loaded the, um, or saved any of my Wild Arms 2 saves anywhere yet. Is that even something people care about? That might be. But what if instead... Counterattack's gonna hurt like hell. Well, that actually wasn't that bad. So in this case, I should have support. Yep. Made out 28 damage. Counter back to 15. Gained 11 XP. Well, it'll end on this turn. No matter who they attack. We're dead. One! Didn't end up getting the chest, but it was just an herb anyway. It's not that big of a deal. I said one extra blue. Right. So yeah, each of those were worth 90 gold each. It actually went down, not up. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how the mechanics of the game actually. This? My stone golems! Oh? Voice. You're the one who threatened us to leave. This is the one who created the golem. That was a pretty vicious thing to do. We're the vicious ones! Trying to make my daddy into a traitor. Huh? Daddy? Who are you? Neil and I Dunbar. Daughter of Magnus Dunbar, the general that we're searching. General Dunbar? Seems that you're misinformed. We're just trying to... This Il and I. Luxley, I told you not to follow me. But Miss Il and I... Oh, some gentleman from the DSF. I hope she didn't bother you. Mother, she tried to kill us! <sighs> A thousand humble pardons, my lords. I am Miss Elidai's tutor, Luxley Hobbs. They are really bringing out references to things in the game, by the way. It seems the young Miss heard some foolish rumors. It isn't a foolish rumor! Please, just listen to our side of the story. Some say that Magnus was playing a coup, but we never believed it. You know, we were told that, uh, one episode ago. Obviously, it's incorrect. You think something happened to him? Why we're heading to the island to find out. Okay, I believe you, but I'm coming with you. Absolutely not! I won't allow it, miss! 
They won't get in their way. Please, Ash. I'm sure my father is waiting on my help. No, you're too young. This is no picnic. Fine. I'll just go to Gilbaras Island myself. I have to take him for now, Ash. What? In that case, I'll be forced to go as well. Though I appear frail, I am a master of healing. You will need my help. And our first two new characters have appeared. Bill and I and Huxley. Even the old guy is gonna come with us? Oh man! Do not diss Huxley. Huxley's one of the most powerful characters in the game. <laughs> Meanwhile... Come on, old man. Tell us what you need. Smack. Ugh, I know nothing. Uh, don't lie, Cap. The royal family, all but over, would know where it's hidden better than you. Notice his sprite's now covered with blood. Fool! My father heard you. What about that? Smack. Hey, not nice to mistreat. Who it is? It's Dolph. Oh, it's you. Don't kill the old fool. Yet. There's still valuable information that we require. Can I box? Would you like to take a crack at breaking this old man? Enough, Kane. So, Dolph. Those are our little plan. Everything's going as scheduled. Just to be sure, one of my people have even infiltrated their group. Good. Now we just have to wait for them to arrive at Gilbaras Island. Gilbaras Island? No, you mustn't! Oh, I knew you knew something. Ugh. Now you can tell us everything you know. That's right. So Dolph is not one of the good guys. Dolph is on team not so nice. So before I go ahead and save, let's go ahead and show you our new characters. So we still have Ash at level eight, Clint and Diego are at level seven, Eli and I is at level seven, and Huxley is at level seven. So Eli and I only knows one spell to start, which is Dark Star. It's a basic offensive spell. There's nothing special about it. Her second spell is the one that we're really going to need later on, though. We're going to be very heavily relying upon it for a good chunk of the game, actually. Uh, Eli and I, remember what I said that Huxley is one of the most powerful characters of the game? Eli and I is the most powerful character of the game, with one exception. Um, probably need to double check their equipment, though, because, well, there are magic users and we haven't bought any magic stuff. Uh, you will notice that Eli's attack is utter trash. You don't hit people with the staff. But she also has really high agility. Both of them do, which means they actually have a reasonable chance of defending themselves. Which is good, because their actual defense is garbage. Um, Huxley has a healing spell. It's a less effective and more expensive version of... Um, Ash's spell, if I remember correctly. So, magic oil, restoring MP. So, before we end it, we're going to go back to Shumeria. Item up, then save, because, I mean, this episode's only, like, a little over half an hour long, so. Not. I don't think we have anything back in right now, do we? We have a cure. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go to the shop and upgrade equipment, and then we're gonna save and exit. So, I don't bother upgrading people's staves. Ex 
except that I actually want to downgrade Elania's staff. There's a reason for it, but that reason isn't going to come out right now. But I do actually have a reason as to why I want to downgrade Elania's staff. In fact, actually, can I just... Yeah, I can't actually... No matter what, you can't have a character that's unequipped with weapons. It's not possible. You have to have them with something. And I want them with the weakest weapons of the game possible. I have reasons for it. Uh, in fact, I might want to pick up some weaker weapons. Can you change weapon equipment in combat? I think I can. Anyway, Eel and I and Huxley definitely need weaker weapons. Um, the reason will be completely unobvious until later on. Um, armor, on the other hand, I want them with the best. Which is a cotton robe. Yeah. Neil and I has a cotton robe already. And we also have a leather band, which Huxley has and Neil and I doesn't. They frequently do that in this game, that they'll mix up who has the best slash next best equipment when you get a character. We actually saw that with Ash, Clint, and Diego, for reference. Right, and let's go ahead and buy some more herbs. I like everybody having a healing item, for reference. I think herb makes more sense because I want to say healing costs 3 MP and not 4. I'm not sure though. Oh well, it'll be fine. Alright, let's go ahead and save and exit. And I'm going to stop this recording and start a new one because I still want to play. Actually, I should probably eat. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video episode. Video episode? This video or episode, depending on what you want to phrase it as. Um, we'll talk to you next time. Bye, Internet!